Hello guys, my name is Tom Antos and in this video I wanted to do a, a sort of a quick review and a test uh, of this, this little thing that I'm riding on. This is one of these electric scooters or uh, you want to call it a hoverboard, whatever the official name is, I don't even know it. Uh, I've just been always curious about uh, just trying to see whether this thing could actually be used for filmmaking. So you know whether you could use it to just get smooth shots, like kind of like I am right now, just riding with the camera. Or for example combine this with like a Steadicam or even better a 3-axis gimbal. So the test that I did is pretty simple. Uh, at first, I just went around with the three-axis gimbal, which is the Turbo Ace uh, All Steady Motion. Uh, just got shots like that. And if you've ever had any experience going with the three-axis gimbal, then you know that uh, a lot of times, you know, you get a little bit of the up and down motion as your hands are moving. Uh, and that's basically because as you're walking, you're taking steps. You know, that motion can can appear. Uh, so then I did another test where I got the exact same shots, uh, but riding this little scooter. Uh, and start comparing basically to see whether it actually is, uh, you know, easier to get smoother shots. Uh, so I'm just going to let you guys watch the shots and judge it for yourself. So on the left side of the screen you have the shots which is with just the, the all steady motion uh, three axis gimbal. And on the right side are the shots where you can actually see me riding the scooter and holding the gimbal. So hopefully you guys could see that uh, going on this thing, you know, with the gimbal uh, definitely helps, but it's a tiny, tiny difference. I don't think it's, uh, it's that big of a difference, especially if you're careful. If, you, you know, if you're just walking with the gimbal and you're careful how, what kind of steps you take, then uh, like I said, then this thing maybe won't make that much of a difference. It does make it easier, you don't have to walk. Uh, makes it also easier to hold the gimbal higher because you're just a little bit higher because you're standing on this thing. Um, but uh, overall, I'll tell you that I think the biggest improvement that this can be is basically when you're trying to get really fast moving shots, like basically running shots. So I'm going to sort of try to go a little bit faster now, but I will tell you that the reason why I've never gotten really fast shots is with this is because I'm just not that good at riding this. I've just started riding this basically like four days ago. The first day it, I, I just got it out of this bag, well it actually comes in this cool little bag with a little remote uh, that you can basically lock it uh, so nobody can steal it I guess technically. Um, and anyways, once I got out of, the, out of the bag, I just got on it right away. Uh, and I'll tell you that it was very weird getting used to riding on this thing. Now, I've actually had experience before riding uh, on not an electric or like a hoverboard, but on an electric unicycle, which is a, a device that's very similar to this. Uh, it just simply has one wheel. Uh, now, I found that that one, what's better about that one is it's, um, it was felt a little bit more natural when I was turning left and right because to turn left and right you kind of have to lean left and right. Whereas with this thing you actually don't want to lean because you'll fall off. So that was one weird thing. But the one big advantage of this one is that you can, uh, you can basically go, uh, you know, make very precise kind of and slow kind of movements. So that's where it's better. Because the other one, if you start going too slowly, then you start falling off to the side. Uh, whereas with this one, as you can see, I can stop like this. Uh, I can be standing perfectly still. I can even go in circles or you can even go backwards. Like you can see. And, you know, then if you want, you can continue going. And, and like I said, so that's something definitely that you cannot do with the with electric unicycle. Now, having said that, uh, I'll tell you uh, one one thing that I don't like about this is that the wheels are so... Oh, 
see they're so small <laughs> that I went over right now uh, what is this oh this little rock here <laughs> definitely nothing big and as you can see I fell off so <laughs> that's what it's bad uh, you know that, that's what this thing is not the greatest uh, basically like I said any kind of rough terrain and right now I'm actually riding in a park but I'm also riding over this uh, gravel and uh, like I said even riding over this overall it's not as smooth uh, now the shots you shouldn't probably judge the shots here right now as you're looking at me because I'm gonna have my hand extended holding the camera and and it's also like I said the, I've turned off all the image stabilization in the in the lens so that uh, so that you guys can really see I guess how shaky it is but if you want to just see whether this could actually help you let's say get these sort of a smoother shots just even hand holding the camera then uh, let me just grab it right now kind of hold it a little bit more steady and you guys can judge it better this way So I can definitely tell you, do not attempt to ride this thing like I am right now, uh, especially when you're learning, I guess, uh, on a gravel dirt kind of a road like I am right now. Uh, and definitely not if you want to get smooth shots, you know, for your next film, because it is uh, all the little vibrations that this thing basically, you know, in the encounters, they're all basically transferred to your body. And that's actually another thing I would say that's, that's kind of bad about in general, about this or, or the, the electric unicycle, which I reviewed before, is that uh, because not, these things don't actually have any suspension it just simply means that any little vibration any little bump you're gonna feel it in your legs you're gonna feel it in your knees and all that stuff so it gets very tiring very quickly and that was actually my biggest problem uh, with the electric unicycle um, I when I first got it I was very excited about and uh, maybe not even so much <laughs> see going over dirt like I said our dirt world uh, like I said when I first got the electric unicycle I was excited about me more I think about just using it for just commuting within the city but I'll tell you that um, I was not able to really do that for a long time because after a few days I mean I did ride around you know on it in New York City but it actually turns out to be very painful on your legs like my my joints uh, my ankles my, my knees just started hurting a lot uh, so it actually turned out to be just better to just be walking and I guess it's more healthy too uh, so that's one thing you guys should probably consider is that if you're trying to get something like this for commuting around uh, I can't highly recommend it because it is like I said it, it just gets retiring like even right now I've maybe been riding around for 10 minutes here on the, on the park and it's already getting you know like it's hurting my feet so first you're gonna feel it in your feet then slowly in your joints your knees um, so that's one thing I don't don't like about it uh, another thing like I said is for for getting you know uh, really smooth shots for your film well, it's it, the problem is that when you're trying to get a nice shot, and that's kind of what I encountered when I was walking, riding around with this thing with the gimbal, is that uh, you really have to concentrate and look at the actual camera, right? The, 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 your monitor, make sure that you're getting a nicely composed shot. Well, the problem with this is that when you, the second you do that and you take your eyes off of the road and you don't know where you're going, you're gonna fall off, <laughs> like you saw me doing, you know, just a, just a moment ago, because you're gonna uh, end up riding over a little bump or something like that. And this thing cannot, like I said, go over any bumps. So that's something definitely to consider. Now, if you're riding over a smooth surface, I guess it's a different story. On a smooth surface, you could actually get smoother shots. So I'm going to try to go right now where there's concrete and show you guys, I guess, whether there's a big difference or not. So here I am. Now I'm riding actually on concrete. And definitely, first of all, I can go a lot faster and it feels a lot smoother, a lot better on my, uh, on my feet. So here I'm also going to go on this parking lot up here and just try to, so sort of just gonna try to get shots sort of holding the camera also smoothly so you guys can see how that looks. So uh, overall I would say that uh, it's an interesting little toy if you're just looking for something to basically kind of you know play around with take it to the park or something like that I don't think it's good as a, as a you know device to really commute to long distances and then another thing is uh, if, if you're thinking about using this you know to, for filmmaking getting some smooth shots um, it, it's it's and I'm not gonna say it's not gonna help you it will help you but at the same time sometimes it will be impossible to use it so pretty much if you're gonna be getting moving shots on you know smooth surfaces concrete things like that smooth floors then yes you can use this thing Otherwise, any kind of bumpy road, grass, gravel, uh, it's probably going to be useless. You got the power, you got the power.
Anyway, so if you guys want more information about where you can get this, uh, this is actually like the latest model of this board, meaning it has an upgraded battery that doesn't explode. Uh, it's safer also to, to take it with you, or like if you want to send it or take it on an airplane. Uh, it actually comes with this little remote too that I have up here, which I mentioned before. And I don't know how useful this is, but basically it's like a, sort of like a car remote where you can basically lock this thing. So I guess technically nobody can steal it. Well, they can still take it and steal it, but they won't be able to be able to use it. Um, and uh, but other than that, like I said, if you guys are interested, and want to find out the latest prices, details where you can get it, then as always, go to my website at tomantosfilms.com. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.